guys, welcome back to another episode of the Mystical Maker. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made my very own tech helmet. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I did was I traced out a basic dome support pattern, uh, just so that the dome could be nice and strong for the helmet, so that it didn't collapse at any point. I used the same template for the dome support as I did in my Boba Fett helmet. And uh, then I glued it together, and I can build the dome and the whole helmet around this. I had to trim it up a little bit to make it a little bit better from the Boba Fett helmet to fit tech. Uh, but otherwise, it's basically the same thing. Started working on some more of the supports for the front, which I eventually gave up. And just started working on the overall shape of the front, which I first made a small template out of, and then modified and kept modifying it until I got a shape that I was decently happy with. Uh, so that's kind of how I made the front. And then I made the middle support and uh, basically traced out the final template, uh, as you can see here, onto uh, some regular cardboard, uh, and then shaped it together to create the front part of the face. And then I added some sides and details on the back, or towards the sides. I made the nose a little bit higher because it didn't quite uh, go as high as I wanted it to after looking at a reference picture again. So I trimmed it up and I also trimmed some things um, to just make it look more accurate. And then I... Uh, hollowed out the dome, or the dome support, uh, so that it could, so that I could actually start wearing and test fitting the helmet as I was building it. Then I added the cheek, uh, the cheeks of the helmet by just adding a thin layer and filling it in with a piece of cardboard underneath. Here you can see me hollowing out the dome a little bit more, uh, just so that I can keep test spinning it and whatnot. Then I made the shape of where the tube and the uh, base of the ear would connect uh, out of some cereal box cardboard and eventually refined it to normal cardboard um, so that it could be much stronger. I added some pieces that would help transition it from the front to the back as more details. I started working on the back of the helmet here by just creating a rough T shape and then flipping it upside down at a slight angle and putting it on there. I eventually made a wall. Uh, so that the T-shape itself could be slightly raised than the rest of the helmet, or the back part could be slightly lowered, and then eventually added in those back pieces after making some final wall adjustments. And you can see me adding in those pieces here, and I think that turned out pretty nice for the then I added a rim on top of it after I added a small groove in the back and some details. Then I took some cereal box cardboard and added the rim. And then I made the ears off camera uh, a while ago and then finished them up and glued them on to the side or marked out where they would go on the sides of the helmet. Then I glued them on, and that's most of the lower half of the helmet. I made this visor piece uh, out of just some normal cardboard, along with some rolls of tape that I specifically cut out and fit over it so it could be nice and sticky. I'm using the same dome technique that I've been using for a while, just slightly uh, 
well this is actually the same thing that I used on my Boba Fett helmet uh, so if you didn't see that video go check it out I used some wire on the base of it because I'm not going to put resin on it uh, just because I'm kind of too lazy to do that and then I finished up whatever uh, I wanted to or filled in the gaps on the front of the helmet and then I added the small antennas on the back and started working on the front tubes. For this, I basically took a toilet paper roll and cut a ton of darts in the front and a, a, and a small angle in the back uh, so that it could more better fit onto the helmet along with some support pieces in between. And I also added some transition pieces out of some more stuff. Then I cut off the visor piece because it was getting in the way and started spackling the whole helmet. For this, I'm using Alex Plus uh, Spackle. Um, and it works really well uh, for covering up all of the cracks. If you don't want the spackle to crack at all, I would suggest adding a few coats of resin because uh, that. Uh, makes the helmet a lot harder. Then I added some primer and sanding and uh, started masking off the uh, parts that weren't that were going to be gray and painted most of the helmet white. I had to look at a reference picture uh, for the painting just to make sure that I didn't quite mess up on it. Then I painted in the front areas black, as well as the inner parts of the ear, uh, the kind of gray color that you see. Then I painted the red stripe along the top and from the chin, and then painted the visor piece gray. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Also, I think my tech helmet turned out pretty nice. It's definitely one of my favorite Bad Batch helmets so far, um, and it just looks really nice. And also, if you really like what I'm doing, you can go follow me on Patreon uh, and vote what my next project should be, um, as well as go uh, follow me on Patreon, like I just said, And because uh, these videos can get pretty expensive between materials and time, so uh, yeah, and with that with that said, see you in the next one.